Uh, okay, welcome to uh, Darhack's uh, project demo live uh, round one. And uh, today we welcome two projects from um, different countries, one from uh, Europe and one from China. Uh, the first project will uh, be Time Rose uh, by Ken Labs. And uh, uh, before the demo, we uh, need to announce that uh, the Filecoin grant uh, Global Hexon uh, is open right now for uh, registration on hackerlink.io. Uh, so if you have a project uh, built or uh, willing to build on Filecoin or uh, there are some uh, technologies used by you from uh, IPFS, you can uh, apply for the Hexon to win a share uh, of the grand prize pool. Uh, so uh, here we have Time Rose ready. So uh, welcome Time Rose to start your presentation. Yes, thanks. Thanks very much. Thanks very much for Dory Hex. Uh, can I get started? Yes, yes, please. Yes. Okay, I will share my screen. Uh, let us get, get started. Can you see me a slice? See my slice? Um, yes. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Uh, just like uh, Dory Hex, uh, the current ongoing uh, registry uh, of of uh, grants. Um, uh, today, I will uh, share my time rose project about uh, Faircoin uh, NFT and. Uh, uh, Faircoin value data value chain based on Faircoin and IPFS. Uh, firstly, I will um, introduce the Kane Labs. Kane Labs is uh, okay. I, I I will. Is this okay? The time rose is uh, one project of Kane Labs. Firstly, let me introduce the uh, Kane Labs. The goal of the King Labs is to create the research environment, uh, which reaching opportunities for product impact and also build a, a product environment that actually uh, benefit uh, from research. That is King Lab is a research uh, labs. But uh, King Lab is focused on uh, Web3 and uh, IPFS, Faircoin, uh, the Lack of these technologies. Mm, some of the most most uh, uh, exciting research enables new products uh, and even new business that that we can't imagine today. So why we uh, built this kind of uh, labs that dedicated for uh, Web three and the uh, Faircoin ecosystem? Because we have lots of if your experience on the distributed system and the blockchain uh, uh, technologies, so we we think of that we are inter entering a new area of technologies. For example, <clears throat> that is uh, cloud two, the next generation of cloud. So the mission of the King Labs is to building the cloud. Uh, 2.0 of the Web3 ecosystem. We think of that uh, the cloud 2.0 include uh, of some components, uh, some big uh, uh, technologies components. For example, computation and storage and the specialized protocols. In our uh, in imagination, we think of that uh, Next generation of cloud is include, uh, for example, the two bit, the CUDA project, and the Faircoin, IPFS, Swarm, 
and also data virtualization, data DAO, and the data retrieve platforms. You can think of that the next generation uh, data pipeline or data uh, supply chain is made of computation, storage, and uh, some retrieval protocol and uh, DAO protocol and, the, and the kind of this new value chain. So that is the, uh, the areas of the KinLab's folks. Next part, let me introduce the main power of KinLab's. Because the KinLab's uh, uh, currently is based on Chengdu city, our main power is mostly from uh, Chengdu city. For example, the universities and some experts and researchers. The university, we include the, the UASTC and the Sichuan universities and the Chengdu University of Information Technology. And we have some um, researchers, uh, they, are, have rich, they have rich experience in the distributed systems and the blockchain. For example, Jason Chen and uh, Abel Cao Yunxin and the Tao Shi. For example, um, we focus on the next generation of cloud. Lots of work needed to do research, uh, to do uh, deep research and dive into the new technologies. So we um, recruit, uh, we, we recruited many researchers in these areas. We believe that research is very important for uh, for new uh, product uh, invented. Jason Chen is rich in the distributed data systems, uh, P2P networks, and the content discovery of the wide area ne network. And the others all have uh, about 20 years experience in the internet applications, uh, embedded systems and other hardware and the software development. And you should have rich experience in the distributed systems and also uh, software testing and the project management. My name is Tao Zheng Shi. Uh, previously, I worked for the IPFS Force, uh, which is the biggest uh, Faircoin manner in the Faircoin systems. I have more than uh, 10 years experience in the distributed systems and the distributed storage systems. How uh, does the King Labs work? We think of that uh, we need to uh, follow some principles to get our research works. The simplest uh, principles uh, is uh, a pro problem to the solution uh, thinking about uh, everything you can think of that. For example, most of the uh, solutions and the problems of the technology areas is, uh, is the same way or is the, uh, you, you know, um, lots of new technologies and uh, uh, lots of solutions, they come from our problems. So the, this simple, uh, sim simple principle is the to, to from problem to, to solutions. So we think of that this is a cycle to way of thinking. First, you need to write down the problem and, then, and they think very hard. And then we, we write down the solutions. You can see this way is quite simple, but it's very, very important. Because the problem re remind us that writing down a process problems definition is a key step to, toward, to, to a solution. And we need to think very hard for the problems and find our right solution. And then we can go back to new problems. That is quite simple. Simple. Okay, let's go, uh, uh, dive into the uh, time rules. We named the, the time rules because we wanted to do some uh, right things, some some uh, value built in things. 
uh, for long term uh, invest, uh, investment. So, um, because Tamarus have a big picture about uh, uh, our cloud uh, 2.0, but uh, we today we share just a part of the Tamarus. That that is data value chain based on Faircoin deal. I will I will introduce uh, some basic information about the deals and uh, and you introduce why we built this kind of data value chain based on that. And why deal is very important in the Web3 ecosystems and why deal is very important in the Faircoin and the IPFS platform. And the next part I will demo current POC about the time rose. Uh, basically, you can see this picture about uh, the difference of Web 2 and Web 3. And I will introduce how the value between data impact to the data value chain. You can think of that Web 2 applications are Web 2 components uh, on Web2 gains, they have kind of this category, uh, um, this kind of, uh, category um, components. The first one is uh, creator and the consumer. You can see uh, this as supplier and the consumer. And the next one is indexed and the category. And the third one is marketplace. The third one is payment and lending. You can think of creator and the consumer is WeChat applications, TikTok applications, when Weibo app applications. The index category applications is Baidu and Google. You know that it's information index and the category. And the marketplace, you can think of Alibaba and Taobao and Jingdong and, and Pinduoduo, these applications is is kind of a market marketplace, but it's also can be a data marketplace. And the leverage these components, these comp uh, components could to do a payment and a lending service for the users. So that is the basic uh, situations about the currently Web two ecosystems. That is the data silo with the ad based revenues. But for Web3, you can think of that the consumer and the index and the marketplace and the payment and the lending, for example, DeFi and the web and the Faircoin and IPFS and the OpenSea and the Rarible, these applications can be one, one data value chain service. We didn't. We don't need separate these applications to do separate uh, uh, applications, separate components. We think of that Web three is uh, uh, all in one solutions for this for these applications. That is basic thinking of uh, time rules, Why we do time rules, time rules. And uh, we think of that uh, the difference of the data value chain between Web 2 and Web 3 is, is the aggregator and the deals. The most important part is aggregators and the deals. You can see of that uh, the creator and the supplier and the consumer is two point of these chains. And in the middle of the chain, that is aggregator and, uh, and the deals. In the Web3 ecosystems, we think of that deal is new aggregator. And the smart contract is new aggregator. The DAO is new aggregator. We don't need that uh, ad-based aggregators like Baidu and Google. So we do the time rules for AMT index and the deal index for, for users to search and to discover as AMT informations and AMT artworks. 
that is the basic basic idea behind the time rules. And we also want to build the vertical native NFTs in the Web3 ecosystems. You can think of that in the IPFS and the vertical ecosystems, the NFT is difference. I mean, I mean, um, compared to the Web2 and the Web3, the NFT is uh, different the previous data value chains or data values. We think of that IPFS is uh, content addressed uh, networks, but is somehow uh, Web2, uh, Web2 kind of Web2 style of information. That is data and metadata. IPFS is made of still made of beta, uh, data and metadata, but in the Web3 ecosystems, we think of that deal and the deal metadata is very important for, for the fundamental, uh, for the uh, data fundamental infrastructure. That means we can add the deal and the deal meta to the data and the metadata. We can get very background information about uh, data and metadata, metadata from Web2 uh, applications. But for deal for smart contract, is special in Web3. Web we also think of that NFT not only based on uh, IPFS, but we, we think NFT should be built in fair coin as a deal to track the left side of the NFT. Why deal is very important? You can think of that uh, everything in the smart contract is deals. But currently in Faircoin uh, platform, the deal is very simple. Uh, not very simple, it's kind of not uh, uh, it's not a user programmer uh, actors, it's just a very um, simple for, for story money deals. It's not, a, it's not a Euro programmer deals. But the next step, the Faircoin will implement the, the user programmer deals. That is, you can think of that as a deal could to could to do the ownership transfer. If we could do transfer the ownership of, of the deals, then we can ha have the NFT. So the benefit from the deal as NFT is we can lock the collateral and the life cycle and the ownership and the fair core native storage in the deals. So that is the basic idea of the deal as NFT. Tamarus layered architecture. In previous uh, part, of, I have introduced the Tamarus uh, basic thinking about uh, uh, deals. You can see this picture of the layered architecture. I want to introduce the architecture from um, bottom to top. We leverage the Faircoin as blockchain. Blockchain is the smart smart, uh, smart contract uh, as Ethereum. And we also leverage Faircoin as code storages. And IPFS as warm storages. And on top of IPFS and Faircoin, we build we already have the storage market. The key point of the storage market is deals, just as mentioned before. And on top of IPFS and fair coin, that is the retrieval market. In the retrieval market, we will have the payment channel deals. That means offline and online deals. 
the, the retrieve client and the retrieve manner and the content pro provider, they will make deals together. So the, deal, the deals in the retrieve market and the storage market could be the NFT. On top, of, on top of retrieve market and the fair coin storage market, we build the time rows. That is, that is aggregators and the galleries. Name the engine, index engine and the AMD accesses. And we also will build the, the marketplace next step. The, in the marketplace, we will show the deal index, deal market, and the, and the, and the new NFTs uh, standard. We also want to uh, propose the new metadata standard for uh, Fairco native NFT. We think of that DAO and the other uh, Web3 components will, will be the stakeholders of the aggregators and the um, stakeholders of the deals. That is the basic uh, architecture of the cameras. So deal and the metadata and and the deal and the metadata uh, metadata is very important in this layered architecture. Our next part, I will introduce the sorry the use case. The first use case of Tamaros is the backup on-premise uh, NFT to the fair coin. You could think of that this backup service is open storage service. We can transfer the NFT in the OpenSea platform, Rarible platform, Foundation platform, and the backup them to fair coin in the way of uh, real uh, data cap application. The first step to do the backup is to index the NFT. The time rules have already indexed some NFTs for the OpenSea and the Rarible. We index the NFT. We also get the metadata information from the Ethereum uh, open chain. And we need the operators and the fair coin miners to back up these NFTs to the fair coin. Then we have the left cycle of the NFT in the fair coin ecosystem. That is the first use case of Tamaros. And the the next, uh, next use case is somehow uh, related to the first use case that is content persistence. persistence. You can think of that uh, some users could use a uh, time rules to, uh, to upload the uh, files or data to the file coin manners and they will uh, set up deals between each other and these deals will be NFT. And this deals is kind of verified uh, client deals. That means the, the users, the new users could do uh, upload the new NFTs, leverage the uh, Faircoin ecosystem. The next use case is deal market. You can think of that the deal will uh, combine the users and the fair miners. If we could to uh, share or, or transfer the ownership of the deals, we can uh, think of this kind of deal NFTs could transfer and could to do um, sales and buys. And then you can buy some storage space. Uh, you can buy some NFTs. That is the deal market, uh, and the deal market is NFT market. 
I think this uh, this uh, this use case needs some background or back, background knowledge about the Faircoin and IPFS. The next use case is open storage service. <coughs> that means <coughs> you know the current Faircoin miners they uh, <coughs> they set up deals with themselves to uh, to store uh, to the garbage data. That is a regular deal and NFT market, uh, deal NFT. If you could to transfer this regular deal to the verified client deals, then we can open, uh, we can set an open storage service for, for users who want to uh, store the data, real data to the uh, Faircoin. The country that, that is a self deal. So that that is the use case of about uh, uh, about the deals. <clears throat> and next use case is the financial business uh, documents as NFTs. For example, some financial components have business documents, is, which is very important. They can upload these uh, documents to the Faircoin and uh, and. Uh, <clears throat> they can get a deal and then they can sell these deals. Now, sell these deals means to sell these business docu documents. That is the basic uh, and a very simple idea. And the next use case is tokenized tickets for events. For example, uh, you can create tickets and share with your audience and uh, check the reading portions. That is kind of uh, cinema tickets and the music uh, music tickets you can share, uh, you can buy, you can sell, and uh, leverage the user programmer uh, actors in the fair coin, we can uh, implement this kind of new deals as NFT, as a service. Uh, okay, that is the use case of time rules. Next part, I will uh, do a uh, Demo about the current uh, uh, time rules implementations. One moment. Okay, that is time rules. Enter the world of an MT from here. Currently, we have 1,038 artworks in the Tamarus platforms. You can just uh, tap some words, for example. Sorry. That is the POC of the uh, Tamarus. Currently, we uh, we display the, some basic information about the artwork, artworks. For example, you can see for each art, artworks, we can see the name and the owner, the or creator, and the, the basic description and the, the story location. For, for example, you can see uh, this location is not in IPFS. That is in Google user content or some cloud service. You can see of these story locations. When we introduce the story locations, uh, you know that in the uh, NFT ecosystems, we say that uh, not on IPFS, not your NFT. You can find that not most of the NFTs is not based on IPFS. Okay, that is the uh, simple uh, POCs of uh, uh, current uh, Tamarus uh, implementation. Next time, next part, I will um, introduce next uh, next step. I we will to do. Okay, 
The next part is research to do and the FIP proposal and the research to do. When we propose uh, the deal as an NFT, uh, and we want to implement these uh, solutions in the Filecoin code base. And the next part is user programmer actor in the Filecoin VMs. And just uh, I mentioned the layered architecture of time loss. We also participate in the retrieval market and the retrieval deals in the Faircoin ecosystems because the deals is very important for time loss. This that is the next step to do. Okay, I think uh, time is run up. I want to. My part, I think, is finished. Uh, uh, I want to thank to Jeremy and the ZX who contributed to, to the idea of deal as an NFT. And you can reach us in the kingcloud.com and uh, King Labs and the King Cloud mail. That's all my part. I think to next project, for next project, give the time to next project. We, we have some uh, discussion. Uh, we have some time for a discussion. So uh, I'm going to ask one or two questions about time rules. And we know that, oh, uh, I think some of our audience are from the Chinese community. So stay tuned because uh, time rules is going to make uh, his uh, Chinese version of demo later on uh, on billabilly.com. Uh, so um, uh, so we we can start from the name. I think Time Rose is a very beautiful name. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> where where does the name come from, and uh, why do you think? Because uh, you describe Time Rose as a data value chain. So how uh, how do time rows and data value chain combine with each other? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thanks very much for, uh, for the name gets uh, accepted for, uh, for some people. <laughs> mm. The background of time rows is, uh, mm, uh, is from our, our team members because when I left the IPFS force um, uh, company, we wanted to do some new things in the Web3 ecosystems. And we read some books. One book is, uh, is Shi Jian de Mei Gui. Uh, it's Time Rose, it's the Rose of Time. It's kind of, uh, it's a book. Uh, but the content of that book is talk about uh, uh, Value investment, uh, in Chinese that is, jiajie tozi. Do something, uh, in the long term, think of in long term, think big and think long term. We think of that we do something, um, we can get a value, uh, as the terms friends. Uh, in Chinese, we we say that, uh, 做时间的朋友. That is why we, uh, when we think of uh, this name, and uh, and our team member uh, think of that uh, NFT have some art, artist or art uh, kind of uh, a beautiful and kind of uh, we think of that rose is very uh, very fit to uh, this this art. The, uh, information uh, delivered to us. So we, we named this project as Time Rose. So about the data value chain, I think of that as the core part or key part or key base, key stone part of the value chain is, is the deal, is a smart contract. 
that is the basic, uh, that is the important, uh, very important part why Web3 is different from Web2. You think of that uh, Baidu and uh, Google and uh, uh, some marketplace is uh, aggregator. These aggregators do the things like, uh, um, uh, they, they build these aggregators not get value from data. They get a value from the ads. So we think of that deal in the Web3, they could to deliver the values and the monies to the stakeholders. For example, the DAO, the DAO stakeholders could participate in the deals using the multi sign uh, technologies. So we think of that uh, multi-part stakeholders could participate in the deal in the street, uh, smart contract. But with the uh, Faircoin uh, projects coming into the uh, online and coming into the midnight, the deal will, will combine, we lock the, the, the users and the uh, consumers and the providers together. They build the data deals, you can think of that. The data deals will uh, leverage the data values and deliver the values to, to each stakeholders. That is, we think of that value chain uh, in Web3, and which is very different from difference from Web2 ecosystems. I'm not sure um, if I answer uh, the, the question is very clearly. Uh, we can discuss these ideas more offline about this of a deal as an NFT. We discuss this, uh, these ideas with ZX, the Faircoin, uh, scientist and uh, Jeremy, the tech lead of Faircoin Lotus project. They, they think of that as this uh, create, create, very crazy idea about uh, uh, deal as NFTs if we could transfer the ownership of the deals. And this is, uh, that's all my explanation. I'm not sure uh, I'm, if I'm clearly display, uh, explain it. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Tom Rose. Uh, thanks for your uh, explanation and great presentation of this project. And uh, I think there are uh, many other projects uh, coming from King Labs. So, uh, guys, you, if you're interested in the researches, uh, please uh, go to Twitter to um, follow King Labs to stay updated. So, um, thanks, Tom Rose.